five days pregnant, closer to 35 weeks pregnant. I ended up not vlogging that much throughout, I guess, throughout this week of pregnancy. If you watched my last video, when I was talking about all of the contractions I was getting, well, that hasn't changed at all. I still get very frequent contractions. I ended up going to the OB. I have a few clips that I filmed um, actually that day that I went. So I'll just insert that right here. So I did end up calling my OB. They did want me to come in. So obviously I mentioned about the good old hemorrhoids and um, how I just always have contractions and especially last night it was bad. I actually feel one right now. And they weren't as bad today, but definitely like two, three every hour or so. So like nothing too crazy. But like, again, I don't think that I'm in labor. I just think maybe there's a possibility. Oh, this feels like super tight. It's just like really, really hard. Um, I just feel like there's a possibility of maybe my cervix is already like softening um maybe even dilating i don't know could be totally wrong could be absolutely nothing i know it's like also this comes with a third trimester but it's like being just you know i am wearing a panty liner if you can put two and two together so but sometimes it's just like just like looks like liquid I was in there for over an hour and a half um one of the doctors ended up having to leave for a delivery so there's only the one doctor there so he was really busy with like all the patients then but everything so far looked really good he checked my cervix it's not soft it's closed thank god and um he's like the type of hemorrhoid i have isn't like the bad kind like it's the kind that will eventually um shrivel up thank god um, but he also did like a, I forget the name of the test. It's like a type of swab. He swabbed me to see if like I'd go into labor within the next two weeks or not. Um, but he's like, it's 99% accurate. So I'm going to know that tomorrow also. But he was saying how his wife was the same exact way. Just always had a lot of cramping, had a lot of contractions all the time. And they always ended up making it, um, to full term so that's like all I care about um I always feel so stupid I feel like I'm like wasting their time but like what if I did truly ignore it and something bad happened but it is relieving knowing that at least my cervix isn't changing at all it really could just be I have a really active uterus but um I ended up having to do a non-stress test also I wasn't expecting that at all I only had one contraction on there so I mean at least what I'm feeling I know like really is contraction so it's not like I'm like making it up or like thinking in my head that it's something it's not but all is good so far so yeah everything turned out to be um, fine I wasn't dilated like I was saying my cervix was closed and they ended up doing the fetal fibronectin swab test which basically tests to see if you'll go into labor within the next two weeks came back negative thank god so it's pretty much just assumed that i have a very active uterus because as soon as like five o'clock six o'clock hits the contractions just come on for pretty much the rest of the night not like painful but it's just very very frequent um braxton hicks contractions i just can't believe how close i am and how it's just coming to an end it's actually making me really really sad knowing that I really only have, okay, 35, maybe four to five weeks left. Neva came at 39 weeks on the dot, and I'm really hoping he stays until at least 39 weeks like that also. I'm gonna do a little bump shot because I haven't done that in a little bit. So these are actually um, considered postpartum underwear, but I'm, I've been wearing them 
ever since I hit like 30 weeks pregnant. You can find them right on Amazon and I'll put the link below. Obviously, I just can't fully show you what that looks like, but those help just make everything feel secure. Um, yeah. Here he is. I feel like right here I can see that maybe the little line is starting. I can't tell if it's there or not. Um, I didn't get it that dark with Mila, so I'm assuming I'm not going to get it that dark with him almost being 35 weeks pregnant. I feel like it would have been there by now. I don't know. I know that's all hormonal and genetic related anyway, so not that I want that to be there because you can see my skin like all right here, here. There's actually a name for it. It's actually another pregnancy condition and I feel like I just stare at those three weird spots all the time. This entire pile of clothing right here is actually from my sister. She just gave me like a bunch of stuff because she has two little boys. I never tried out this sleep sack, so I'm hoping maybe he'll like it. I don't know. <laughs> but all of this I have to wash. This is actually all just newborn clothing. This is like super, super cute and soft. I can't wait to like just see him in it. I just actually, these are brand new with a tag. This is from um, Kite Baby. It's like buttery soft. And then I also have a lot of Lulu and Company. Her uh, swaddles and like baby gowns are super cute also. Um, I think this is something I'm gonna bring to the hospital just cause it's like the typical baby blue. Yeah, so just like a bunch of like cute stuff. I honestly don't have a lot of clothing for him. Um, some of this stuff is actually, uh, oh god, can you hear that? <laughs> Mila. She now knows how to get onto these chairs. There's really not much that I can do about her and the climbing. She's just kind of at that stage. <laughs> Mila's loving these Capri Suns. As I was trying to open that, she got into the tacos and took a bite. I'm actually using these shells tonight for dinner. I'm just making ground turkey. Well, I'm just gonna ground that up. These patties were actually cheaper than the ground version, but it's like this, still the same brand of ground turkey that I like to use. So back to what I was trying to say, um, all this clothing right here has to get washed. I think I was saying that um, some of these are actually Mila's um, that she wore, like this one, like it was just a plain white one that he can wear, this little gray one. I pretty much have, I want to say, 90% of everything finished. Um, I still have to just set up the bassinet. You know, obviously clean the clothes, pack the hospital bag. I wanted to show you guys these two breast pumps that I did get. Everything is just kept in Mila's closet right now that I have. Seems like I have like all like the new binkies and stuff. Here's another bottle that I'm gonna try. I've never tried it before. Oh, this too, this baby monitor. I never tried this brand before. So this is the lollipop baby monitor. Um, I did get it in pink because I probably, I'm gonna use it on the bassinet. And then I'm eventually gonna just give it to Mila because I do have a baby monitor. Um, I have like a mode roll up. Here it is actually. I didn't wanna end up getting like just two of these because this actually connects to your phone. I don't know how good it is, but I like how it could be seen on my phone. But this was some of the breast pumps. So I have the Medela breast pump and um, I did end up getting this manual one too. I don't know how much I'm going to use it, but I feel like it's just better safe than sorry. It was only $30 on Amazon. I'm just gonna put it together real quick and show you guys what this one looks like. So yeah. 
I personally, um, with my breastfeeding journey, I had a lot of troubles having a baby physically nursed from the boob. Um, I always had to use like a nipple shield. So that's why I am investing in like a lot of different type of bottles and breast pumps. Again, I have the Modella pump and style breast pump and I think that is by far the best. I also found this too off of Amazon. It's way cheaper than the Hakka and I think it was like $12. When I opened it, it literally was the same exact thing except you got way more stuff with it. It came with like this cute little bag that you can put it in and probably not, I don't know if I'll use that, but. It has like all these cute little designs on it, but it's literally the same size and probably works exactly the same for way cheaper. It like came with this. And it also came with like this top. And um, looking at the Hakka brand, like just this is $12. And if you wanted to like purchase like a top and like the little stopper, it was like $30. So I'll let you guys know how that works out. I ended up getting the LV pump also. So this is the first time I actually am looking at it. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of mixed reviews online about it. Um, how well it works and whatnot, but again, I can't really tell you guys how good it actually will be until I start using it again because no baby yet. I think I honestly do plan on though, like, I'm not probably gonna use it that like first like three to four weeks when I'm trying to like establish my milk supply. I'm probably just gonna use my Medela pump because that's what I'm comfortable with and that. I know it does work. These go right into your bra. I'm trying not to laugh because I feel like this looks really ridiculous. <laughs> oh my God. Like a lot of people said it's not too noticeable. Okay, I'm taking these out. That just made my boobs look like really big, but um, apparently it's supposed to not like look like there's anything in there. I mean, people always said it made them like look a few cup size bigger, but like that like looks really big. I will keep you guys posted on how much I like it, how efficient I think it is. Um, I really plan on using this, like say, if I'm in the middle of cooking dinner or if I'm on the go or whatever, I did get it through my insurance. So it was a little bit discounted for me because these things I think retail price is like around $500. I feel like it's already starting to cool down. It's currently August 3rd. The mornings have been like in the 60s which is just like weird and like right now it's like feels like a cool little breeze i'm all for summer i hate the cold i hate how it gets really dark out really early i'm at the point where i'm wearing basically the same exact outfit every single day um i'm pretty sure you guys have seen this black stretchy shirt in like a million of my videos i do have two of them um but i just feel like again i'm at that point why am i gonna spend money on bigger clothing when I really only have like a month left. Each day that is going by, I just can't believe how fast it's feeling now. And I am honestly worrying that he's going to come super, super early. I don't know, I don't want him to come early at all. It's making me really sad to think about this pregnancy already ending. I guess like it feels a little bit different after going through all those infertility treatments and then also going through pregnancy loss. So kind of feels like will I feel this again because we definitely want more than two kids like 100% um, three babies we say we want four but I don't know it's just something that always crosses my mind I just feel like it's such a special time in my life and not everyone can experience you know being pregnant for most people it's very hard to get pregnant it's very hard to stay pregnant some people can't even be pregnant I don't know I'm very very grateful for it I'm not rushing it I like truly realize how special of a time it is and I didn't even feel like I went through that hard of a time like yes I went through a hard time but not nearly as bad as some people because I you know still follow a lot of people that go through like IVF and everything I really thought at one point that IVF might have been down the future but I don't know we'll see what happens once he's born and once the time comes to see if 
my period will come back because I had a lot of ovulation issues in the past I didn't have any issues like I had a perfect period I actually got pregnant very very quickly but then kept having the losses so I don't know what to expect and I'm probably just super super hormonal also I tried laying Mila down for a nap I don't know if she's really gonna go down for a nap so I might end up just taking her for a walk because I can tell she's getting really really bored in here I try to stay um, I guess active by going for a walk um, Pretty much throughout my entire pregnancy I do wear the Apple watch um, and I, it is like around a mile and a half the walk I used to work out obviously before I got pregnant but it is so much harder to work out once you are pregnant so I did just knock it down to just walking I just realized I forgot my water and I'm already thirsty that's another thing that I try to do try to drink at least a gallon of water a day because when you're pregnant you do need a lot of water and you're just always super thirsty I am so thirsty usually when I go on those walks I always bring my water I got this new ice machine for my birthday. It is absolutely amazing. These are like tiny little nuggets of ice too, so. And colder water is just so much easier. This is also from Amazon. Um, again, I just fill this up usually twice and that's a gallon of water. Mila's also been loving the ice too, which is good because some days it's really hard to get her to drink just plain water. She was doing a really great job of just always drinking out of this because she saw I was drinking it and now she's like over it. And I would try not to give her too much juice because the sugar is not good for her either. I bought her these little, um, her birthday actually just passed too, but like these little vegetables. But the purpose of them is um, for her to learn her colors. So basically, like, okay, red, obviously. And to like put the red ones in there like that. But she's just been kind of enjoying either biting on them or throwing them all throughout the house. And being, um super pregnant now it makes me want to die having to pick all those up off the floor so now i am actually i just uploaded a lot of the footage from the vlog today basically and um i'm definitely gonna end it here because it's getting a little bit too long but um that's pretty much i guess the 34 week update i'm probably gonna go over it um next week of gathering my hospital bag, getting everything ready. Hopefully I'll have more stuff ready. So um, I'm definitely gonna show you guys what I'm bringing this time, just because it's my second time. I feel like things were a lot different the first time. I thought I needed way more than I actually did end up using, if that makes sense. But um, yeah, so we will see you next week and hopefully I'm still pregnant. I don't think that anything will happen like that, but I'll update you if that happens. But um, again, we'll see you next week.